What's going on boys? Welcome back to the last video of a Bundesliga Team of Season Day. So we've got a Rusilion, I believe it is, Objectives Guide out. we got an Andre Silva review, an Angelina review, and a Sabitza review. And now we are going to finish off, finish off with this Amari Objectives. Boys, if you guys do appreciate all the content, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It's currently 9am, I haven't slept, so I'm going to go to bed after this. But boys, if you are new to the series, what we do is we work through all the objectives. We then go ahead and build a little squad builder to help you guys complete this fast. And also... I do give you guys my tips and tricks on how you can like you know speed up the process a little bit so first of all we've got fire out finishing score five outside of a box goals in squad battles on at least professional difficulty or it of course can be in division rivals assist in three separate matches on minimum world class difficulty or rivals using a player with at least four star skill moves score using Bundesliga players in seven separate squad battle matches on once again world class difficulty and assist with a through ball using German players in 10 separate matches on at least professional difficulty so obviously there's no point doing someone professional someone world class because you'd have to do basically double the games so it may as well just do them all on world class get them all done at the same time and like I said it will take 10 separate games which is roughly if you are doing it in squad battles you can do it in rivals but personally I never really like doing it in division rivals because it will be very hard and outside of the box goals especially will kill you so squad battles is much easier it'll probably take the same amount of time so it's 10 games minimum it's going to take you at least 10 games it's six minutes a half roughly it's just round up to 15 minutes a game so simply 15 times 10 is 150 and then that's 150 minutes divided by 60 so it's going to take you two and a half hours i mean that was simple math i didn't need a calculator for that but it's going to take you guys two and a half hours roughly to complete this card if you do do it all in squad battles so really what you're just focusing on is assist with through balls using german players score using uh bundesliga players and assist using players with at least four star skill moves so literally just really it's really just a full german bundesliga team so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to build a team and then give you guys one tip that i always use for squad battles boys this is what we have come up with and like i said it's a very cheap team obviously search your club for Bundesliga players because you guys will have hopefully some Bundesliga players in your club but as you know I do build squad builders for people that don't like I could be using my Bender I could be using my Bibu I could be using my Paulo Otavio but obviously I'm choosing not to just for the sake of you guys it's a squad builder simple squad builder now like I said it doesn't have to be a full German squad because it's just uh, use score with no assist with through balls with German players and just assist with players with at least four star skill moves so at left wing we have gone for Yoni's Yoni's and, and he's the only German left wing slash left mid with at least four star skills I believe or the only gold anyways so he's got the four star skills so you need to assist with him and Balaravi obviously you just have to assist with him as well who's also a German four star skiller at right mid and you just have to feed the ball to Nita Lechner and I know boys he is a bad card he's a very very bad card 78 pace 66 balance but legitimately he is the best German Bundesliga striker which I was not expecting I was having a look at that and I'm like what the hell as you can see German Bundesliga striker with We've literally got this dude who's got an inform, his normal card is trash. He's literally the best German striker. But still, like I said, squad battles is relatively easy on world class when you are facing the lower teams. But Balarabi, Yoni's obviously if I've both got four star skill moves. That's why I've chosen him because you need to assist with players with four star skill moves. In the midfield as well, we've gone for three other Germans because you need the through balls with Germans. So I've gone for Emma Ray Chan, who is absolutely brilliant in game, one of the most underrated beasts in the game. We've gone for Core as well, who I actually used at the beginning of the game. I think on my road to glory and he was phenomenal 80 pace very 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 underrated and we have gone for Dadavi 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 I think it is right let's just say Dadavi he's a very 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 solid card nothing crazy though and he's average at best but he does a job now obviously we've just gone down German road again in the defense you can have any defenders in the game but genuinely uh, schools is the best left back other than Davies and the reason I did not choose Davies is because he's currently a team of the season and he'll be very very expensive now at center back we have gone for Klosterman who plays like prime moments Maldini in game like, ignore the voice crack by the way but get Klosterman I cannot vouch for this dude enough he has saved me so much times so many on so many different occasions and we have gone for Boateng as well who is very solid a little bit slow but still very solid and will not struggle at all against the AI at right back the best Bundesliga gold rear right back it is going to be Mbabu and in net the most underrated keeper it is going to be Pavlenka he's six foot five and has the saves with feet trait he's basically the Bundesliga Pope boys this is a team like I said you don't have to go down a full German route but it's basically easier because you know if you assist with a through ball with one of your 
midfielders, you know it will count towards a German through ball assist because obviously they're all German. And uh, the left wing and right wing with Balarabi and Yonis, if you get an assist with them, just feed the ball to Niederlich. Now that's why I've gone for a 4 3 3. Just get assist with them with a 4 star because as they both have the 4 star skill moves. So, boys, that's the first tip is obviously this team. Now, the second tip is just going to be build the bench up. It does not have to be a full Bundesliga bench. You can use your normal players on the bench. I could use my Benzema. I could use my Moments Figure. I could use my Palais and Hullet. So, in game, you can sub them on if you're struggling. Could bring Benzema on and for Niederlechner if I've already got that objective done. And obviously, so on and so forth. Now, boys, I'm going to show you guys the last thing, which is going to be it's an obviously not a squad battles glitch. There is actually a squad battles glitch, but it's a different thing. Um, if you guys want to know a squad battles glitch, it, it doesn't save time, but it just means that you don't have to play the whole time, like in flick a film on and stuff. So what you want to do, boys, is obviously you've got a 186 rated squad and a one or 83 rated uh, or 83 Kim and 89 rated squad. These on world class difficulty with a shit team will be very hard. So as soon as you play at least one game from each batch. You just press square and you can refresh your opponent. You can refresh it as much times as you want. After 40 games, it stops counting. Because as you can see in the top right, it says 40 out of 40 matches played. They still, they, they still count towards objectives, but they just don't get you points towards the squad battle rewards. So obviously we've refreshed that and you usually get one, usually two, sometimes one shitty teams that you can play. For example, a 65 rated, 32 chemistry team. You're going to go ahead and you're going to want to play that on world class difficulty. Not professional, not semi-pro, or else it won't work. World class difficulty difficulty and it shouldn't be too hard honestly I can beat it 5 to 10 nil um, but obviously I'm an okay player if you guys maybe struggle with a game if you're a casual in a world class difficulty it's going to be a challenge it is going to be a challenge but make sure you keep refreshing uh, the squad battle games until you get the low rated teams because you will have no problem at all playing a 48 pace centre back with minus 14 on every stat because he's on literally two chemistry. You will not mind facing a five foot ten. <laughs> like look at those stats. You'll be you guys will be fine. But obviously, if you do struggle, then you just got to keep trying. Got to chip away. You've got unlimited goes. Obviously, just after the 40 games, it stops counting. So that's the third tip and the fourth tip for anyone that is struggling. Lots of you won't need it, but if you are really struggling, it's literally just chem styles. Search your club for chemistry styles. Chuck a chemistry style on them. It will significantly boost how they perform in game. For example, Balarabi with a finisher in game goes to like an 84 or 85 rated uh, right wing or with a hawk or hunter you'll go to like an 86 rated right wing so I, you don't have to buy the correct chemistry style but if you just buy a chemistry style that suits them or just any chemistry style is better than none it just helps boost them and how they perform in game boys hopefully this did help you out also let me know down below obviously if you've got any other questions whatsoever now to end the video we'll just have another brief look over the objectives and obviously just relate back to the team on what players you should use for what so as you can see here fire out finishing score five outside of a box goals um that can be with anyone it doesn't have to be with a particular player a particular nation so literally just Niederlechner, Balarabi, anyone. Try scoring outside of a box goal, and this is a professional. But like I said, you may as well uh, do it on world class. And yes, it will be hard, but at the same time, it won't. You just got to charge up, try get that outside of a box goal. It's not in separate matches, so you can try get them all done in the same match. Assist in three separate squad battle matches on world class with a player with at least four star skill moves. That's why I've got Balarabi. That's why I've got Yoni's. Yoni's the only uh, Bundesliga left wing with four star German that is. And then obviously score using Bundesliga players with. Uh, score using Bundesliga players in seven separate squad battle matches, which is just anyone in your whole team, so that will be fine. And assist with a through ball using German players. That's why I went down that German Bundesliga row. So, boys, or route, I should say. So, boys, a very, very easy objective. Two and a half hours to complete. Not too shabby for a 9 rated card. Very nice card in game, and he's got some crack dribbling, solid pa uh, passing, probably chuck a hunter on him. Or if you do not do that, or if you don't use him, you've got a really nice 90 rated fodder for future SBCs. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure to smash a like and subscribe for more FIFA content. And until next time, boys, it's been Davis, and I'll see you later. I'm about to fall asleep, so I'm going to go to bed. See you later, boys.